Hi, in this video, I will explain to you the simulation process of a system C. A simulation process is a member function of a system C module. It is special because it has no input arguments and it returns no value. Also, it is not called manually. Instead, it is registered with the simulation kernel and let the simulation kernel trigger those simulation processes. There are three different kinds of simulation processes supported by system C. One is SC method, which does not have its own thread of execution. It consumes no simulation time, which means you cannot suspend it and you cannot call the code again upon wait. Another simulation process is SC thread, which has its own thread of execution. It may consume some simulated time to complete, can be suspended, and the code can be called again upon wait. Last one is SCC thread, which is a special form of SC thread. It has only one static sensitivity, which is a clock edge event. Even those three different simulation processes are supported by system C. One of them is most important, which is SC thread, because it can do everything that SC method or SCC thread does. In order for SC thread or SCC thread processes to be called again, since there shall be a while loop, an SC methods process is different. It doesn't require a while loop, and it is invoked again by calling the next trigger method. For SC thread or SCC thread, it may consume some simulated time to finish. Please be aware the simulated time in the system C is not the extra time that the program runs. It is just a counter. It is a counter managed by the simulation kernel. We will be explaining the concept of a simulated time in later sessions. Now let's take a look at some examples. First, we define a system C module. The module name is process. Within this module, there are three different simulation processes. One is a method function registered to the simulation kernel using SC method. Another one is a thread registered as an SC thread. The last one is a C thread function, which is registered as an SC C thread. In the three different simulation processes, it prints a message when the simulation process is invoked. You can also see here, in order for the message process to be invoked again, we use the next trigger method. Here I ask the simulation kernel to trigger the method process after one second. For a thread, as explained earlier, you have to define a while loop. Within the while loop, it prints some message and wait one second before it is triggered again. C thread, as shown here, is triggered based on the input clock, where the clock is defined as a trigger, which comes every second. In the main function, we first declare an object of the process module. Then we let the system C simulation to run for two seconds before it finished. Now let's run the example. When running the simulation for two seconds, you can see the method process is triggered twice at time zero and time one. The thread and C thread process are also triggered twice at, the, at time zero and time one, but they are using different ways to be triggered. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope this video is useful to you. Bye bye.